Hey you, do you struggle to manage all three of Pyro's slots? Do you often tap the wrong number key and swap to the wrong weapon? Do you really still main Pyro and TF2? I mean, come on. If you just heard any of those things and thought to yourself, that is literally me, then I might have something that is guaranteed to help. Disclaimer, this script will only work if the server you play on has the wait command enabled. You can check if it's enabled by using the wait testing script I put in the description. Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm going to tell you about the Switch script. The Switch script uses keybinds and aliases to automatically sort Pyro's weapons. Holding down the side button on your mouse swaps to Pyro's melee weapon. When you release it, the game cycles through your secondary weapon back to your primary. That way, your secondary will always be queued up for whenever you press your quick swap key. You'll always know which weapon is next, and you can focus on superior movement. Here it is. Now if you have the intelligence of an unironic, authentic pyromane like myself, that might as well be the hieroglyphics that I can't read on my keyboard. So let me explain this real quick. This first line tells your game to switch to your melee when it sees that a button is pressed down and held. It's looking for a button named Pyro. The second line tells your game to switch to your secondary when that Pyro key is released. Then, the game waits 20 frames and switches back to your primary. Finally, the third line simply binds the button you want to hold down for this whole thing to work. You can totally replace mouse 4 with any key you want. I just chose my mouse's back button for this script because I simply can't dedicate any more bandwidth of my pea-sized brain to my left hand. Now that you know how the script works, let's actually get it working. You're gonna need your developer console open, so make sure you enable it in Advanced Settings. Once you got the nerd window open, paste that script line by line into it, hitting enter each time. But in case you need to, you can customize it too, like adjusting how many frames the game waits to switch from your secondary to your primary. This helps if you have a laggy game or an underpowered computer, and prevents your pyro from getting stuck on a weapon during the auto swap. Increasing the number of frames gives oh no. it time to catch up to your inputs. I've set it to 20 frames for this example, but I have a rocket for a PC and pretty good internet. 20 frames should cover most gameplay, but if you play on sketchy servers or live in internet-starved places like Dust Bowl Last or the United States, you might want to slap a few dozen extra frames on there just to be safe. And that's it, you're done. Despite being totally wild, somehow she has worked out what to do with it. I honestly believe that this script improved my pyro experience more than any other tip I could give. And trust me, I am known for my incredible pyro skills. Playing Pyro is often all about getting into a flow state. I think what better way to take advantage of this than Power Jack Bunny Hopping. Bunny Hopping has been a staple in first person shooter games since like forever. And although TF2 caps the speed you're able to gain on your own, it doesn't prevent you from preserving the momentum you get from a weapon stat. Just swap to your Power Jack for a speed boost, jump while releasing the melee button, and then swap to melee again before touching the ground. Now, even when you have your primary out, you get to keep that faster running speed in the air. Plus, your secondary will already be queued up. This is super great for when you hop around a corner into a soldier, or when you want to spy check while zooming around the front line. This script also makes extinguisher combos easy, and not just for pushing spies into a wall for a kill that you would have gotten anyway, it helps landing pyro market gardens a tad more reliable. It's worth noting if you're mentally deranged like I am, why do you look like this? I'm deranged right now, okay? You might use this script to constantly resort your weapons, even if they are already sorted. It's like pressing the clear button on your calculator a million times more than necessary. Spy has joined her. Now, I know that every one of you watching this video has unparalleled gamer instincts, and you've probably clued into the fact that this script would be pretty damn useful on the rest of the game's hat enthusiasts. Your scout's mad milk is gonna be on speed dial now, and if you're playing soldier and aren't running the gunboats like an actual Giga Chad, you'll find that your shotgun is always ready to go. The Demo Man experience has always been a reloading simulator. Quickly wielding your guaranteed random crit melee weapon is easier, and after deleting that scout, you can return to the reason you play demo in the first place. The switch script isn't very convenient for heavy. The 
minigun swaps slowly if it's already spun, and there aren't many situations where you'll melee someone. You could totally bunny hop with the gloves of running urgently, sort of like how you can with the pyro and the power jack. You'll find yourself at the same health as a pyro with the power jack even faster. Now, engineer is pretty fun to use the script with, because it makes it a breeze to switch to the wrench if you've got to slap your gun or bonk a spy. Also, if you hold attack while releasing the melee button, your weapon will fire as fast as it appears. Medic's experience is great, since your medigun and crossbow will always be ready after you deal with the flanker your team blindly missed. Sniper works just as well, since your rifle will be next in line if you find yourself in closer combat. And finally, what about Spy? I'm gonna be honest with you, using the script on Spy sucks. Uh, since his sapper's in his secondary slot, I don't really find this one useful. And yeah, that's it. I hope the switch script improves your TF2 experience. Pretty soon, you'll be swapping weapons faster than the enemy can swap off a spy. Unless they swap the sniper, in which case you won't be using any of your weapons at all. Thanks for watching, and hey, let's see more pyros carrying teams, eh? Keep on fragging, and don't forget to spy check. I'll see you next time.